day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd like to do the oldie show uh, cruising on a Sunday. That'd be sweet. That would be. And you know what? You would take. Dear Smokey Bear, for teaching us how to prevent wildfires for 70 years, outdoor lovers everywhere want to give you a bear hug. I want to give Smokey a bear hug for teaching me that a fire isn't out till it's cold. For teaching me to douse my fire with water, stir the ashes, and douse it again. For showing me that sparks from a dragon toe chain can start a wildfire. For being a big fuzzy bear. I like big fuzzy bears. Happy 70th, big guy. Let's bring it in for a bear hug. Come on. Wish Smokey a happy birthday using hashtag Smokey Bear Hug. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state foresters, and the Ad Council. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Ronnie, and you're listening to Rise and Shine 209, the KXVS, the voice of Stockton Morning Show. Show, 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 show. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? The importance of your house number is critical to the future of your recovery and health. The longer the response time, the longer the recovery time. Faster 911 response times are directly related to improve 90-day recovery. 10,000 lives a year could be saved as a result of a one-minute time savings. Save a minute, save your life with reflective house numbers. For more information, visit readyforrescue.com. Hello, welcome to Chef Tobias Cooks, here where we have kitchen conversations with professional chefs, cooks, home cooks, bakers, oh, and people that just can't cook. So join us every week for our kitchen conversations and learn a thing or two. And I don't burn nothing in my kitchen. This is Darius Oliver, and you're listening to 92.1 KXVS, The Voice of Stockton. Here at KXVS, Broadcasting casting from casting. Stone Tube Studios is the voice of Stockton. Da 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 da, sha ba di da do da 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 da, sha da ba da di da 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 da, sha da la da di da do da da da, sha da ba da di da 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 da, sha da ba da bi da do da 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 da, sha da ba da bi da 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 da, ee sha da ba da di da, sha tu ba is good. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thursday, yes, 11 a.m. here, Stockton, the voice of Stockton.org this morning. Thank you for joining me, Chef Tobias Cooks, with Kitchen Conversations. Yes, Alex, how are you? I'm good today. I'm good. Thank you for saying that. Loving this weather. (laughs) <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. It's kind of a mystery weather. I'm not really for sure what's going on. Is it like cold, hot, hot, cold? Right, right. Raining? It's hot. raining, but it's not really cold. Yeah, I, I don't understand it either. You know, um, I wanted to open up, uh, tell everyone thank you so much for supporting me. I've been getting lots of great inboxes from chefs. If you guys don't know, please visit my Chef Tobias Cooks uh, Facebook page. Uh, We have a special announcement on there for cooks, chefs, caterers, bakers, and all in between uh, to earn a spot right here, live radio interview um, for you to come on and talk about you yourself, your business, or if you have a product. So please go to Chef Tobias Cook's Facebook page for that. If you want to see us live, uh, we have some exciting guests that are coming up today. I'm very excited about as always. They will be introducing their product today. Yeah. Uh, KXVS.org, uh, the voice of Stockton.org, uh, Facebook page, uh, YouTube, or also you can see me live on Chef Tobias. But actually, I would love for you to see the whole studio itself. And again, um, like always, every Thursday, I always repeat uh, this if you're not able to catch us live. Yes, but one thing I wanted to say real quick. Is this a good time to pull out our barbecue grills? When is it not? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I am going to ask my next guest that. Okay. I think that's going to be the question of the day. I like that question. So that is the question of the day. The question of the day is, it is March 15th. Is it a good time to pull out your barbecue grill? <laughs> 
right, we're going to go ahead and take our first break. And when we come back, we are going to ask our next guest, is it a good time to take out your barbecue grill? <laughs> we will be right back. Thank you. The voice of Stockton.org. Please log on to see us live. This is Miriam, and you're listening to KXBS, the voice of Stockton. You know what I got? I got a picture of his face with the little blue pillow on it. The sleep face. In, we're, in, we're in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Are they already in Chicago? The one and only Leo Biaz. Hey, Leo. I'm excited to be back, my man. Uh, it was nine days in Vegas. We got stuck in the desert, and we had a little hangover remix out there, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I wore a wig to school once and they said no headgear was allowed. <laughs> um, How did the did spider they, Was it tights. obvious that it was a wig? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was, I was, was having a fun. Wig. <laughs> See, this is exactly why we have them on the show. And this is what makes them fun. You're listening to KXBS, the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM.
one FM coming soon. Here at KXVS, bro, 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 broadcasting casting from casting. Stone Tube Studios is the voice of Stockton. Da 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 da, sha ba di da do da 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 da, sha da ba da di di da da da, sha da la da di da do da da da, sha da ba da di di da da da, sha da ba da bi da do da 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 da, sha da ba da bi da 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 da, ee sha da ba da di da, sha tu ba is good. All right, I am back, Chef Tobias Cooks, with Kitchen Conversations. Yeah, I am so excited here. We have our guests, as always. I'm very excited. Today, we have special guests because we are doing product, Mm -hmm. right? Yes. In the culinary field. Yes. So, like I said, uh, we have everything in the culinary world to our latest culinary trends, and this is one of the buzz in the two Oh nine. Yes, so right. just a little bit before we get into it, Joshua. Yes. You and I, we already know each other, <laughs> yes, right? Do. Don't think this is a hookup, okay? This is not a hookup, okay? I want to let you know, just because you see Chef Tobias on the street, right? don't think I'm going to give you a no, hookup, right? Because no, no, I'm not. I'm no, going to give you a hard no. time like everyone I else. hard to get here. Yes, you worked very hard. Yes. So tell everyone how we uh, know, know one another. So as you know, uh, Chef had a restaurant downtown. Um, where she served all kinds of great snacks and treats. And I love, love, love her brownies. Like, they're stupid good, right? So I would come in, and I would make trips into town and go to your restaurant (laughs) so I can get brownies, right? I didn't know that. But listen, listen, so, like, five out of ten times I went, they were already sold out. So I'm getting there, like, early, early, early. And the earlier I get there, the more, the sooner they're sold out. So I was just like, listen, you're going to make me some brownies. And I did. I did. (laughs) And before you sell them, before you put them out, Uh you know, Mm -hmm. call me first (laughs) so I can get my fix. And and I did make them. I did. Truly, I did. did. I did. did. You know, the thing with the brownies is um, I never intended to make brownies. Um, You know, I pride myself on being a pastry Mm -hmm. chef and I want to do all these fancy pastries and all this stuff that I knew no one else could do like my cannolis and my croissants it didn't work out that way I ended up doing cookies and brownies cookies and cupcakes and, brownies. and milkshakes and and all the other stuff. Ice cream. You know, <laughs> Ice cream. Nice <laughs> yeah. I ended up doing all of that. So chocolate dipped strawberries and pretzels. And I'm like, wait, I'm a pastry <laughs> chef. I'm a pastry <laughs> chef. <laughs> but it was okay. It was good because um, uh, even even though I, I was up to making the brownies three times a day. Mm. And it was just the, the same oh. four chocolate mm-hmm. brownies. Mm-hmm. It was just really chocolate, simple. Chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. <laughs> chocolate chocolate brownies mm-hmm. that I made uh, every day so, and and if the school kids can't come in uh-huh. like during lunch mm-hmm. and yeah. if I didn't have the cookies right. or the brownies it was mayhem yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> I elbow kids out the way I'm not gonna lie I, yeah. <laughs> I must have two three kids with an elbow just, yeah so thank you <laughs> so before we get started Joshua I just want to say thank you very much yes thank, thank you, you for, for trusting us. me Appreciate thank you that. for blessing me and honoring me uh, for you coming on okay. uh, with your product, I am I'm really excited. So let's get into it, let's guys. Get into it. Yes. Yeah. So introduce yourself okay. and introduce this young yes. man that I we know, have here. Why, yeah, my, <laughs> so uh, my name is Joshua Harrison, yes. and uh, me and my uncle Carrie here, um, we have a family business. Um, Margie's Original Fat and Sauce. Oh, there I go. Okay. There you are, yes. <laughs> uh, Margie's Original Fat and Sauce. I have all these lights. I, Hollywood, I, I Hollywood. Know, Hollywood. You know. <laughs> uh, but we have a family recipe that we've been, you know, enjoying for years. And I'll let my uncle tell you more about it. But um, we just wanted to share it with everyone. And then you bless us the opportunity to come on here. And I'll let the president and CEO of Margie's <laughs> Original Fat and Saucy. Uh, do his thing. So, All uh, right. Give us a brief introduction about yourself and how can we get in contact with you? Okay. Uh, my name is Kerry Jenkins and uh, yeah, I'm Joshua's uncle. And first of all, I want to say thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah, sure. Allowing us to uh, talk about our product here. Um, we're on uh, Facebook. Uh, you can also find us online at uh, www. Uh, fatandsaucy.com P-H-A-T in oh. saucy <laughs> Wait a minute, let's pause Let's pause <laughs> Alex, he said He yeah. said fat mm-hmm. <laughs> He said fat and he said saucy Fat and saucy hey, so you, know you, gotta <laughs> you know you got to have some You know you got to have some 
Okay, go that, ahead. That is P H A T though. Okay, not okay. That's right. we, mm-hmm. we haven't heard of that one. Right. We haven't. Hey. That's a new uh, one too. Uh, okay, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. And the sauce is called Marjorie's Original Barbecue Sauce. Uh, it's a the name's after my mom. All right. And, uh, so it's a family-run business. Josh was one of the proprietors. Uh, he's part of the team, mm-hmm. and uh, we're you can find us. Uh, many places here. So we'll get to that a little later for the consumers. So let's get into it. You said that the product was named after your mother. Correct. After your grandmother. Grandmother. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I know everyone knows the story about me. Um, I have Louisiana born grandmother. I spent a lot of my summers, vacations, and I've lived there for part of my life. And my grandmother was very instrumental in me becoming a chef. Um, All the church ladies and their recipes and and all their little gossip and stuff. I'm the one that paid attention to it. I'm the one that skipped out during church service and Mm -hmm. hung out in the church kitchen. Mm -hmm. And during the holidays, I was in the kitchen with my grandmother and and her sister my great aunt and all their friends and the church ladies and stuff so I took some recipes okay. too. Okay. But I don't have any barbecue oh, recipes see. that I stole <laughs> <laughs> so was this a recipe that was blessed given or a recipe that you okay okay, okay. so here it is it's her recipe. Yes. And we named it after her. We got her blessing mm-hmm. to use it and to go ahead and produce it. Yes. Okay. So it wasn't like the kids just took off. Right. Yeah, they own Went out right. the back door. Me, 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 especially with the caramel cake. Me, yeah. me, me. Yes. Yeah, we know how that goes. Yeah. So she she said, yeah, we could do it. And she's mm-hmm. an instrumental part. Matter of fact, okay. we do some of our outings. She shows yes. up and you can read the original Marjorie from Marjorie's Original Barbecue. So. All right. So that is exciting. Yeah. So when you get a chance to do some um, events, you guys make sure you come on out. Again, check them on Facebook at? Marjorie's Original Barbecue Sauce. All Pretty right. Nice. Yes. So, Joshua, tell me a little bit, just a snippet of okay. your background, and then bring us up into how you are now. Okay. Okay. So, mm-hmm. um, let's see. When we started with the, I guess we're talking about the restaurant in San Jose, right? That's uh, where we started. Uh, oh, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um, and so, Marjorie, she, she did her thing there. We are barbecuing, cooking, catering, um, and... Then, well, I, let, I don't let Carrie tell the story. He's, well, I was just okay. a kid there. I, I, <laughs> if you want the truth, let Uncle Carrie tell the story. Okay. I'll just participate. But let's just, let's just understand you. your role. My role. Yes. Okay, so what do I do? So okay. a little background about you and then now your role gotcha. in okay. the company. Yes. Then that makes sense. Okay, so I'm, I'm the marketer. I am get out there and tell everybody. I got a big mouth. I run my mouth. So that's what I do. I go out and meet people and talk to them about the sauce, how great it is. Um, family recipe has been here longer than I've been. Um, and we just... Love to bring that joy that a sauce brings. You know, when you get that good barbecue sauce like that. Yes. Face to ear to ear. Yes. Barbecue sauce everywhere. Uh-huh. That's the kind of barbecue we like to do. So. All right. Yeah. So, Uncle, can I call you Uncle? Sure, or? You can. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because you, <laughs> you know uncle. when I get when me and Alex come get our plate, right? you know we come get our plate. We want to be right? like Uncle, uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle. You know, uncle. no formal name. Uh-huh. Exactly. Exactly. That's so, right. understanding recipe, San Jose. When did you know? that this is the time to go ahead and get this product in the hands of everyone that we possibly can. When did you know that moment when you said, you know what, we have something special here. I think we're ready for production. Okay, so can I give you a quick backstory? Sure. Okay, so from the San Jose days to now, we have we continue to perfect this sauce for probably about 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I continue to make it. Um, and we'd give it to our friends, we'd give it to family, they liked it, they wanted it. And I'd say about five years ago, it was just hit us like, everyone keeps asking us for this. Or I'd go to barbecues and I'd, hey, bring some sauce, we'd bring the sauce. And people would be like, hey, uh, let me take that home. Uh-huh. You know, right? So I couldn't get my bottles back. Yes. <laughs> so We know became, about that, huh, Alex? <laughs> yeah, we know about that. It became that. pretty evident that it was something that people really wanted. And so... Uh, we spent the time to investigate how to do it, and, and here we are. Uh, yeah. sp- been doing it now about four years. So okay. It took about a year, almost a year and a half, to get everything done correctly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, and so, and then, so we've been marketing it and selling it now for about four years. Yes. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Well, I do know a lot, a little bit of a lot of 
how uh, this so, goes for um, anyone that's interested in um, if you have a product and this is something that you would like to do in the future um, just inbox me um, about that I'll try to get you a little bit more information about that um, I do understand uh, the different things that we have to go through in the food industry um, what I'm really excited about is that this is the 209 yeah. uh, we always try to find talent that's here in our city right. in our community um, for people to know what's going on uh, that way they don't necessarily have to go outside of our city sometimes we do yeah. you yeah. know but um, just to let people know that we have products that are being produced right here in the two Oh nine. That's okay, right. so right. I have some bottles here. Um, Alex, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm still trying to work on my professionalism. All right, these are beautiful. Look at this, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so excited. So let's explain this one here. Oh, look, it's all nice and red. Ooh, dun dun dun. <laughs> look, oh, yeah, oh, oh, are you ready? Hey. Oh, let's get it around here. Ooh, look Ooh, at this. Look at that. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. Yes, that is nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so this sauce here is? This here is our original, um, mm -hmm. and in that bag also is a, our rubs that we do. So we got rubs, and we also have the barbecue sauce. These sauces, we've got a mild, spicy, and a hot. Mild, spicy, spicy and, hot. and hot. What, what was the uh, saying that you said first? You said fat and? Fat and saucy. Fat and saucy. Fat, fat and saucy. And saucy. saucy. And, and, where did you get that from? Just just <laughs> side pause. <laughs> <laughs> we were, as a team, trying to come up with uh, something that was out of the norm, that, that mm -hmm. would uh, be easy to remember on a URL, and we came up with that, that and sauce. I'll mm -hmm. steal yours. How okay. about that? So, uh, that? It was just, uh, you know, as a brainstorming session, we came up with it. All right. Fat and saucy. We, you know, we, we took the play on pretty hot and tempting, mm -hmm. and of course, sauce we bring it together, you got fat and sauce. All right, so a little bit more, yeah. the textures of it. Why did you come out with three flavors? Um, well, Or three temperatures, I should say. Okay, the, the flavors are different. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason we did this was because everyone's palate is so different. And, and barbecue sauce is subjective, right? People want what's good to me may not be good mm -hmm. to you, or they want the, yes. the Carolina, or they want the Texas style. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, we just want to try to uh, reach as many people as we could with the different flavors that we were able to offer. All right. And, you know, this looks like a really great rub. I'm big on texture. I'm big on colors. Okay. I'm big on clarity. Um, I like when I could get a product and I can see what's in it. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> There's, like, no mystery. So, like... Right here, without even looking at the ingredients, I could see, okay, we have some of this, this, and that. Um, I love the packaging. I love the clearness of it. I, I love the logo. The logo is really great. Yes. It's very easy, and it's really easy to remember. Right. And I love the name because we can remember the name. Often, sometimes, we get names, and we're like... You forget them. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking saucy. for it online and you're like trying to be yeah. like a uh, spell check, uh, Google, uh, Google this, Google that. Yeah. Yes. I'm really excited. So can you talk about a little bit of the flavor profiles? What is the sauce good with? Can you give us some examples? Okay. So of course you can use it on the standard barbecue fare, mm -hmm. right? Chickens and ribs and uh, mm -hmm. sliced beef and things of this nature. Yeah. Uh, it tends to go very well with pulled pork. People really like that. Mm -hmm. um, I had a woman put it on bar, on, on, on a watermelon, of mm -hmm. all things. Um, one of the people at my job, uh, she uses it. She's a vegetarian, but she uses it on her tofu. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's just really your palate. It's, mm -hmm. it's not your traditional barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. It's more of a... You know, everyone says we got their the special secret sauce. You yes, know, I'm not yes. going to say we got the secret sauce, mm -hmm. but what I will say is that we've got a a flavor that is original, mm -hmm. and that you will think about, and you'll leave you wanting more. And that's kind of where we're at. Okay. So, uh, when you say spicy, for me as a chef, I automatically will go to a marinade. Is that something I could do with the spicy? You, you absolutely can. Mm -hmm. You can marinate with it. Um, 
And when we say the word uh, spicy, we're not talking about some overpowering heat. We're really talking about the richness of the flavors. We use a lot of high quality ingredients and- <laughs> Hollywood! <Hey. laughs> I got it now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on in for your yeah, live okay. feed too. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you take a look at the bottle, you can see the richness of the, of the sauce that's in mm -hmm. these bottles. Yes. High quality uh, ingredients are gone into this, mm -hmm. of course, we make it with love, we control the production. So uh, we were able to have a very consistent flavor. Okay, so real quick off off the record, where is your family originated from? Um, like I mentioned, my mom's family's from Louisiana, <laughs> Northern Louisiana, uh, by Monroe, by Sweet Pork. Um, my father's side of the family is from Arkansas. Um, Arkansas. Arkansas. My okay. From Arkansas. Uh huh. My mother, of all places, is from Brooklyn. Wow. How they yeah. meet? That's <laughs> okay. But, it happens. You know. Um, but her family is from uh, like the North Carolinas and uh, from mm -hmm. Carolinas. Uh, so you've got, you know, a lot of different things going on for a flavor profile. So as far as her recipe, how what was her inspiration for it? I think I want to say it was more of a, a, a Kansas City mm -hmm. uh, and Texas flair kind of mixed together. And so her inspiration, she's, she's a good cook and she likes to cook. And so as a result of that, she's always tinkering with different flavors. And uh, this flavor has kind of evolved over the years from what it was originally, as I said, uh, we spent quite a bit of time over the last 10 years uh, trying different ingredients, trying to come up with, yes. stick with the base, but come up with something that we think could last. Yes, great, great. So um, when I think of barbecue sauce, of course, I think of thick barbecue sauce. But you mentioned the Carolinas. The Carolinas, they do a vinegar, vinegar? sauce. Oof. Yeah. Can yes. we have a moment of silence? <laughs> Alex, come on. Just quick yeah, moment yeah. of silence. Oh, okay, that. now it's over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now uh, fast forward. We are in California. Right. Um, and a lot of uh, 209 here have southern roots. Mm -hmm. As um, I know, a lot of people have native roots, Hispanic roots. So barbecue that I've known in the 209 is huge here. Yeah. Um, pretty much everyone. And, um, all the chefs and uh, events that I've gone to, you know, they, they like barbecue. Mm -hmm. So in saying that, could you tell us about this right here? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, And I'm going to show this of what he's going to be reading here. <laughs> this is something very special from them. I'm very excited for them about this. And so could you please, I'm going to give you the honor to go ahead and tell us about that. Okay. So. We like our sauce, obviously, and we, mm -hmm. we think others do as well. And to validate what we were doing, we, we put our sauce into a very stiff competition. This was in uh, Kansas City. Kansas yeah. City. That's right. That's Kansas right. City. Ah, Kansas City. And you know they like the barbecue. They don't play. They don't play. Kansas City <laughs> does not play. You know that, right, Alex? I do. I do. They, they don't play. I, I wouldn't <laughs> even try it, honestly. As a chef, and as much ego chefs has right, eagles, right. we have very big eagles. Yes. I think I will stick to the bacon part yeah. and then to go play around in Kansas City. Right. No, I'm not right. going to do right. it. Go ahead. So we, we entered our sauce in August of last year. We entered uh, my, our spicy and our mild, uh, which is our original. Out of 606 different sauces, uh, there were something like 270 different companies. Uh, we came in 11th place with our sauce. Now, did we win? No. But uh, when you come out 11th place out of 606, yeah, with 70 deal. different independent judges that are, you know, you, you can't say you lost. Right. So uh, for the 209, we represented. Well, yes. We a lot of sauce to the market that others mm -hmm. like on, a, on, a, on mm -hmm. a very large basis. Yeah. So, and, and we've shipped it so many other places besides California. Obviously, we, we believe uh, very strongly in the product that we have. All right. Yeah, so. Exciting. So will you be entering any more competitions anytime soon? Yes, we are. Um, we are we've, in, we've actually entered this one again. Uh, and there's a <clears throat> there, there are two that will be in this year. 
and, and we want to come higher than 11th place. Yeah. All right. So, but you know what? Let, let me just say something. I myself have entered a lot of competitions. Um, I was in competitions when I was in culinary school. That's yeah. basically where I started. Um, and uh, I've done competitions in my professional career as well. And I've taken first place in some, some of them. And um, quite a few of them, I've taken no place at all. Okay. <laughs> they gave me a sticker of appreciation, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, um, as a chef, we do have egos, but at the same time, if there's someone that come up to you and say, you know what, I love this. That's it right there. That, that means more yeah. than any um, award or certificate mm -hmm. or anything. Because let me tell you something. I have people that have followed my career mm -hmm. and, and they're still with me. They're still, hey, chef, when you cook, call me. <laughs> you <laughs> know? Exactly yeah. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's about passion. Yeah, it sure. truly is about passion. It truly is about believing in what you have. And, and once you get it into the hands of people, they will let you know if this is a winner or not. Yeah. So I encourage you to keep going. I encourage you to keep the competitions. I encourage you to take that 11th place and put that up as high <laughs> as you could put it and talk about it all the time because there are a lot of people that wish they could even do that much. There's a quick mm -hmm. little story I'll add, mm -hmm. um, and this actually happened to my uncle. So we had, uh, there's a place in uh, Jesse's Grove where we go and we tell the yes. songs, right? And so um, we had a, someone there who just loved it. Mm -hmm. And so she went there to try to find it, and they were all out. Mm -hmm. And so she heard that we had a place in, I think it was in Livermore, mm -hmm. <laughs> where we sell it. So she went, she drove from Lodi to Livermore. Okay. They didn't, I don't think they had it there or they didn't have the sauce that she wanted. And mm -hmm. she heard we were in Tracy. And so she chased, she left from Livermore to Tracy to go and find our sauce. And so when you hear stories like that, you're just like, mm -hmm. okay, we're doing about. the right thing, right? Yeah. So. And, and can I say one thing? Yes. We should talk about the 209. Mm -hmm. We are talking okay. about the 209. I gotta, I, can I just do a clap? <laughs> the, two, the 209 has really been supportive of what we're trying to do. Yes. We have a lot of, most of our partners are here in the 209. And that's good to hear. And they have given us a lot of love. And, and so have the people. So I want to just say thank you to the customers. We appreciate you. Yes. All right. So we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, I just completely went off live. I have no idea. My earphones is like smashing me up like this. But, you know, I'm Hollywood. I got to keep it going. Go. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break. We're going to readjust our uh, mics and headphones real quick. And then I am going to have, what do I call you, the Marjorie boy? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to call you fat and saucy. Like, fat and spicy, right? Is it fat and spicy? Hey. I was, uh, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be crossing the line. Yeah, that'd be crossing the line. I don't want that. You know, my husband, you know, he watching me. He'd be like, girl, me, 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 me. Girl, I'll sit you down there and talk about sauce. So, anyway. <laughs> So I don't know. Uh, okay, you guys are gonna have to get a name together. Okay, okay. The, the MJ Boys or something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta come up with a crew name. Right. Come on, Moles. Moles, there you go. Moles, Moles. Yes. Okay, we gotta go ahead and get a quick break. We'll be right back. I am going to have these two lovely, lovely. You are listening to the Voice of Scott on KXVS. Yes. Okay. Let's
can't. If it doesn't feel right, then it ain't. And all I felt before was hate. But then you came along and erased. Then all I wanted to do was create, and I did. But the truth is we did this together. Who says love isn't forever? My heart flies, it doesn't flutter. I stay dry, cause you're my umbrella. Everyone has a chance to do right. Yes, we can make it if we keep it tight. As we look back on the things that we've done, we can be sure that a new thing's begun. Everyone has a chance to do right. Yes, we can make it if we keep it tight. As we look back on the things that we've done, we can be sure that a new thing's begun. I feel like we should be doing something, something to help. This is Dr. Julie Dameron, local veterinarian for over 20 years. I am so excited about my new radio show, Tales and Tips, on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. on Facebook, YouTube, Voice of Stockton, and KXVS Radio. I will discuss relevant issues affecting animals and pet owners today, how to avoid common problems, and how to extend the quality of life for your cherished companions. As a community advocate, I will also discuss important social issues that affect our city. I plan to showcase organizations and heroes who are doing amazing things to help others. Remember to tune in every Tuesday morning at 10, starting soon. In California, 73% of all 911 calls are from cell phones. It is important to know your exact location when making the call, which may go to Sacramento CHP or a local call center depending on the cell tower transmitting the call. Around 40% of cell phone antennas used for GPS are out of alignment, according to a recent E911 white paper. For more information, go to readyforrescue.com. 
Here at KXVS, broadcasting casting from Stone Tube Studios is the voice of Stockton. Da 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 da, sha ba di da do da 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 da, sha da ba da di da 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 da, sha da la da di da do da da da, sha da ba da di da 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 da, sha da ba da bi da do da 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 da, sha da ba da bi da 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 da, ee sha da ba di da, sha da ba is good. All right, hello, hello, hello. We are back. Shout out to Bobby Cooks. We are back with our guest. Joshua Carey. And you are? Mo. <laughs> the Mo Boys. We're the Mo Boys. The Mo Boys. Mo B. Yes. 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 All right. So let's give them information before we get into the tasting real quick. Information, how can they find you? Uh, you can get us on Facebook at Marjorie's Original Barbecue Sauce. You can get us at uh, uh, on our website, uh, www.fatandsaucy.com. It's spelled with the P-H-A-T-N, saucy. And tell us some of the local vendors that you're here with as well. Okay, uh, some of our local partners would be um, Jesse's Grove uh, out in Lodi. We've got the Flag City. We've got Barsetti's uh, Winery. We've got Van Ruten. Uh, we've got Robinson's Feed. These are all local to the 209. Of course, you've got Ace Hardware. So, th so we're around town, and you can also look on our website or our Facebook and find us. All right. So we are going to do... The tasting, yeah, right? Taste, yeah, you taste All right. Bottle. So this one, explain what this one is. Okay. So this is what our is original it? sauce. We also call it mild. You can check it out. See that rich, deep, dark color right there? <laughs> it is. Uh, it's a beautiful sauce. So this is the mild one. This yes, is yeah. mild. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Right. So, like, if I bake my beans, I can use this. Absolutely, too. this yeah. is what gonna, I smell. Yeah. See? Only one person's gonna eat those beans, though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a whole. The whole family's not gonna get to eat those beans. I'm just letting yes. you know. Yes, this is a live Timbo. She's the first time tasting mm -hmm. her sauce. So mm. Yes, take a look at her face. She said, she said mm. Mm -hmm. "This is good. This is clearly a barbecue sauce." Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the sweetness, the smokiness of it. And I like the flat that it seems like it doesn't overpower. Exactly. Right. So it seemed like it's something that would complement. Exactly. Um, a lot of times when you get sauce, it overpowers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're like paying yeah. all this money just to eat the sauce. Yeah. Right, right. So I could really appreciate that. But, and one of the things mm -hmm. we do, we always like to give out samples of the sauce. Mm -hmm. So people can see what they are actually the taste, what they're getting. Mm -hmm. So many barbecue sauces out there. So. Oh, spicy first. Yeah, do spicy first. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Kind of Alex, a.k.a. A. A. the demo guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see some. I see uh -huh. something in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what? I'm looking at some spices, right? Yes, that's our spicy. You got some peppers mm. in there. Oh wow, peppers. this is mm. almost like wine. So I exactly. have like yes. one <laughs> aroma, and then now I have another aroma. Yes, and, and there's a. Di I'm, I'm glad you're smelling it because mm -hmm. you can see that as you smell it. Mm -hmm. Being a cook, you can tell there's some different ingredients. A in there. chef. Mm -hmm. Did I say cook? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Chef? Yes, chefs. <laughs> see, when I said, see, what happened was, what happened? Never mind. I earned that title. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it. Some people are cooks, some people are chefs. I earned the title of being called a chef. Delta College, right? Walked right. across the stage. There you go. Okay. Got yes, it. Yes, I earned that title. There you go. There and you go. he knows I wear my chef coat too. <laughs> I wear my chef yes, coat proudly. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. All I was going to say is you can tell the different <laughs> ingredients. Absolutely. Being a chef. Yeah. I want to get this right yeah. here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get a thumbs up or down, Alex? Yeah. All right. Okay. Definitely thumbs up. That was great. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. I like this I one. Put my finger in it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's not too uh -uh. too spicy. Right. I could taste it. The note right, right there, right up here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is something that the kids will like as well. Exactly. Oh yeah. I think that's great. Thank you. We have we have mm -hmm. customers whose children will only eat with our barbecue sauce now. Yeah. Like I on can a weekly basis, they're buying sauce to put it on everything. I can tell yeah. um, because I have children like that as mm -hmm. well. What do you think, Alex? Give me a second. 
the note is mm-hmm. good, mm-hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. See, Alex's like been hanging out with me. <laughs> all the way to the back of that throat back there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one is the hot yes, one. That one's hot, yes. All right. Again, mm-hmm. I can see the spices. It's not, and it, let's just say this is not a water base. Mm-hmm. No. Sauce. Water. I can't, no water no, here. No, I'm, no, I'm just clarifying this. Okay. I want people to know yeah. that this is, it, it looks like this is something that's actually made, that this is actually blended, Absolutely. actually has seasoning in it. Mm-hmm. And, and I could tell, you know, and also the consistency of it as well. You can't see it, but it doesn't like run mm-hmm. with water. Mm-hmm. So you could tell that you're getting a really, really good pace. That's you're getting. Good spices and they're really blended and and so that's why i wanted to bring oh, yeah. that up for people to know i know what i'm talking about well, I mean, I know. <laughs> now we now we know that <laughs> but that's uh you know we make them in small batches each mm-hmm. one you know um in our commercial kitchen which is great here in tracy mm, i like this one. yeah that, that's the that's my jam right there hi i like this one now, that's my jam mm. so tell me now the heat is hot but is it overpowering uh-uh, it's just Sweet. I like that one. So, I like that one because it hit my tongue mm-hmm. right away. Yeah. And then it still left me mm-hmm. with the brightness of the uh, spice. So you got some heat, mm-hmm. but you also got the flavor. Exactly. Yeah. And see, that's the trick. Anybody can make it hot. Yeah. But can you make it flavorful and hot? That's it. Mm-hmm. That's that's the key right yeah. there. Yeah. To make it flavorful and make it hot. Right. Yes. To still keep the flavor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To still keep the fact that this is what I'm eating. But at the same time, I'm still enjoying that the little bit of the heat. Thank you. That a compliment. Now this hot one. What do you what do you put that one on? Uh, so Uncle try, wings. Try tip. Wait. I put it on wings. Yeah, I, I do shrimp. shrimp. Why and, no uh, wing? Why I'm bring no you, wings? Why bring no wings? Some wings. <laughs> but you put it on some wings and you can just dip it, mm-hmm. or you can make your own hot wings, and, mm-hmm. and it, it, it's warm enough where mm-hmm. you're gonna feel the heat, but it's not overpowering. So you get all the flavor as, as you know. You know what I would use that for? Right. Salad dressing. What People do. do. See, didn't I tell you earlier? Someone would put it on, put mm-hmm. it on, on a watermelon. Someone put it on salad. Yeah. You put I it on see fish. That. I can see that on a uh, salad dressing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, with a little vinegar and um, some good fresh lettuce that's it that's all you need mm-hmm. sometimes okay. you don't need a lot of stuff well some people yeah. just do the old-fashioned mm-hmm. way they just mm-hmm. the bread mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that was me just a piece yeah. of bread mm. yeah you know so we could tell you hung out <laughs> kitchen huh yeah he did <laughs> yeah <laughs> he, he, i was the taster <laughs> yeah okay he showed up at the end yeah, huh yeah, 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 yeah okay yeah, yeah. see i know i already the bowl, the, all that he, good stuff. he went in the beginning when they got the groceries he carried the groceries in so he saw the whole yes. process I mean, I was, you showed you know, up when you got trouble. Yeah, that's yeah. Sweet. <laughs> you know, some, some sauce. Yeah. All right, so real quick, tell me one of your favorite memories of your mom and the barbecue sauce. <laughs> I guess I would have to say just, just kind of watching her make it, um, mm-hmm. and her taking the time to to show me mm-hmm. uh, the different, uh, you know, the differences of why you put this in and why and you know when you stir it the process of making it mm-hmm. i think just watching her do that and talking to her as she did it mm-hmm. um that those are the kinds of things i remember and of course the the food mm-hmm. i mean yeah well i can tell that you honored her mm-hmm. and i could tell that you took out your time and you really pre uh meditated and thought about each each one of them individually mm-hmm. so that's great and i just wish you all the success i'm going to be right there with you okay. and i'm excited about it the 209, 209. Yeah. tell us a little bit about your uh, community um services as well uh, yeah part of our mission not only to deliver this sauce to the you know to the to everybody but mm-hmm. we're also very uh, high on trying to give back and trying to help our community uh, you know this past uh, Christmas for instance we were in a position to to provide Christmas for seven different families and mm-hmm. you know while that doesn't seem like a lot we're a small business and we're family run but it's to us it's not so much all about just trying to sell product it's about trying to you know help others along the way so we all have our own different passions if you talk to the other members of our teams some will tell you they want to work with different you know, organizations and, and that's we do want to do that uh, so that's kind of what we're at right now just trying to find ways to market our product but also in ways we can give back so 
All right, and that's what we're looking for here in the 209 to build a uh, community, community mm-hmm. along. So here we go, 209. You have something to do this weekend to log on to? www.fatandsaucy.com. You can hit us up on Facebook. You can order our sauce online. Whatever you need, we, we, we can help you get it. And tell us where they can find you again locally. Locally, you can find us uh, close by. You can find us at Flag City. You can find us at Jesse's Grove, Van Root and Winery, Ace Hardware, Robinson's Feed Store, Marvell Food Store. Uh, those are the, some of the uh, closer places to the Stockton area where you can find us. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for I having me. Really so I appreciate you. Really appreciate you. You hear yeah, that? Yeah. 209, you have something to do. Thank you. Go on down. Get this great Treat su- yourself. Yes, please. Treat yourself. Support the 209 culinary world <laughs> and our saucy. latest trends. Nice. Get, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Fine. Yeah, saucy. Get saucy. <laughs> so I do Lovely. think that there's a bottle that's open, the hot, the hot one, right, Alex? Yes, it is. I'm going to take that one. Yeah. Please take it. Yes. Yeah, so take I two. do have some uh, nice gift of bags right here. And uh, I think what I'm going to do, I was going to raffle them off. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get this in the hands of two chefs that okay. I know. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I think they will enjoy this very much. Um, and again, the information one more time before we get out of here. www.fattensaucy.com. You can find us on Facebook, Marjorie's Original Barbecue Sauce. All right. You heard it yourself, 209. Thank Be good you to chef. yourself this weekend. Get out and eat 209. Yes, let's support our community, our culinary world. Don't forget to go to Chef Tobias Cook's Facebook page for more announcement. Also, for more on this product as well. Remember, if you are a chef, if you are a cook, baker, or in between the culinary world, we would like to hear from you. Inbox Chef Tobias Cook's Facebook page. Please remember to support the voice of Stockton.org. Thank you very much. Okay, Alex. We're good? We're good. We're good. Yeah. 209. Yay. Woo. 209. So I'm a cat, and I just moved in with this new human, and she's got this little toy she's always playing with all day long. Tap, 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 bloop, bloop. She can't put it down. There it is. Oh, and get this. She even talks to it. Last week, she asked it for Chinese, and guess what? Egg rolls showed up like magic. Humans have cool toys. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. My name is Josh, and you're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM. Catch us live on Facebook, YouTube, and the TuneIn app. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS, the voice of Stockton, or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff.